Jóvenes, pongan atención. Lo que a continuación escucharás es crucial. I'm just really not that super into Joe Biden because like for me, I'm just like, oh God, you know what? I can't even finish it. With these young ones on the left who are getting all anti-Biden about this shit as if the alternative is going to be something better. Listen, new kid in the voting booth, like there is no such thing as your dream date for a presidential candidate. There is no such thing as your dream daddy who's going to tick all the boxes in your who you think the president should be wish list. It doesn't work that way. New kids, what is with like, like the prefrontal cortex is still in development out of that, like the spoiled brat gets everything they want phase. It doesn't work that way. I have never in my 53 years of living, which is 25 years of voting, or is it more? Yeah, no, 35 years of voting, <laughs> never. Has there been a dream candidate that I jumped up and down about, except maybe Obama? And the other one is Trump, and that's a fucking cult. But presidential candidates have no obligation to make you hard and wet. Cut it the fuck out. You're not getting everything you want. The alternative is we get a democracy set on fire. So stop it with this spoiled, bitchy little, I just not that super into Joe Biden. Nobody is. He's all right, he's a really good guy, he's old as fuck. But there's a lot of shit at stake here, so just cool it with the whole, like, I don't get everything on my wish list, and he's not Genocide Joe. Cut that shit out. Oh my God, stop it. You honestly think Joseph Robinette Biden is all for killing people? You really think that guy, with everything he's been through in his personal life, You think that's who he is? You're fucking stupid. God, grow up. Grow up. Ugh.